All right, all right. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and uh, we're going for salmon again on the kayak, and I, I think I have a fish on, actually. I think there's a little fish on there. And, yep, yep, there is a little fish on there, and uh, let's see what it is. That is a croaker, and I do catch these croaker as a bycatch uh, oftentimes when I'm going for salmon, but I've never actually eaten them. And I don't hear too many people eating them. I have heard that they're very bony and uh, not so good to eat. But maybe we'll put that to the test uh, next time. And maybe I'll catch a few of these guys and uh, cook them up and see if I can make them taste good. So yeah, maybe next time we'll do that. Start off the morning very smoky actually. It's been on and off smoky uh, around here uh, due to the fires that we're having in California. I was thinking, you know what, if it's not going to clear up, well, I got to head in. Don't want to spend too much time out in the smoke. But it ended up clearing up around 10 o'clock. There was no salmon bites, so we switched to going for rockfish. And I actually sort of drifted off my spot. And I think I went over some sand because what I caught next, something that I haven't caught before. And right here, this is a sand sole. Uh, first, I thought it was possibly a small halibut but definitely I could tell that it wasn't a halibut I thought maybe it was a big sand dab but uh, sand dabs don't really get that big and I checked with uh, Die Hard Fishing and he was like yeah that's definitely not a halibut that's some kind of sole also consulted my friend Danny and he confirmed that it was a sand sole so there you have it so that's what we're gonna be cooking today so just got back from fishing and Caught this little guy, and it turns out this is called a sand sole. And you can tell because they have this little mohawk right here. And that's kind of the identifier of the sand sole. Check it out. Yeah. So they look, you know, almost identical to a halibut, right? That's why I was so, like, so confused. Like, is this a halibut? No. Looks, is it a big sand dab? Hmm. But yeah, sand sole. Flatfish always look so similar. Uh, but anyways, this is good eating fish. So we're going to cook them up. When you catch a fish around this size, you know, this guy is about, what, he's 13 inches. Um, there's not much on the fillet itself. If you, if you fillet it, yeah, you won't get too much out of it. So cooking it whole is the best way to prepare a fish like this. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fry them up. So you can either fry it or steam it. And this time I'm going to choose to fry it. So I'm going to fry the whole entire thing. Let me check if it, so it doesn't quite fit on the pan. Probably just cut the head off and the rest should fit. Yeah. There we go. So if I were to steam it, I like doing it the Chinese style. Steam it and then hot oil uh, with ginger, garlic, scallions on top. And that's delicious, but with the fried, fish you need a little bit of a balance so I'm going to put a little acidity on there uh, for the sauce so I'm going to make like a guacamole salsa kind of thing all right I'm going to salt them first just season season it inside and there you go got some cornstarch here I'm just going to cover them with cornstarch I like using cornstarch better than flour it's a little more crispier I think and I still have to score it too You know what? Yeah, gotta get the tail off. But I still wanna eat the tail too, so I'm gonna fry it as well. Because the fins on these are the best parts. Little uh, chunky guacamole salsa. Avocado salsa, whatever you like to call it. So, handful of onions. Got some cilantro here. That should be good enough. Not quite ready to flip yet. So I'm going to try to get these fins nice and crispy. 
Because honestly, on these fish, man, the fins are so good. Just like nice little chips. You guys know chilies? This is more for color than anything really. Because it's going to be very green. I want a little bit, a little bit of red in there. A couple limes. Let's flip this guy. One garlic clove, chop it up. With this garlic, I'm gonna slice it thinly, and I think I'm gonna make some garlic chips too to top it off with overripe avocados. Let me make sure I get the fins nice and crispy on the edge, and uh, it's done. There we go. And we have some residual heat. So I'm gonna just dump these garlic in there. Make some garlic chips. Got one thing and that is the serrano pepper. And we'll need some salt. That's some tasty guac. I'm gonna put the sauce onto just one side. Maybe that'll look better, huh? I have some Fresno peppers for a little color contrast. And I also have the Serrano peppers that in front too and we'll just toss the garlic chips and right on top right here there you go guys there's my fried sand sole with uh, guacamole salsa this is gonna be tasty Whew. let me eat I'm hungry I haven't eaten since I got back do you need a beer? Hi. Yes, I do need Which a beer. Um, any of them? Okay, before I dig in, I'm going to just wait for my beer. Uh, and uh, I just want to say thank you everybody for watching. Yeah, sorry if the content's sort of repetitive right now. Um, just that, you know, this whole thing that's going on with COVID and then now we have the fires going on. Thankfully, the smoke cleared away after like 10 a.m. today. And... Um, and it's not even, there's no smoke here at the house either. So, which is a very good thing. You know, we really did have a lot of things planned for the summer. We wanted to go to Alaska. We wanted to go, we we're gonna go to Japan. We we're gonna go to Europe even. We were gonna um, be in Seattle or Washington area. All kinds of, all kinds of places, all kinds of plans that we had, but had to cancel. Um, but thank you. Oh, I got fat tire. All right, fat tire. Haven't had one of these in a while. Ice cold beer, can't beat that after a long day. Ooh. All right, let me dig in. Ooh. <coughs> All the meat just slides off. Let me get a bite. Mm. Mm. That's, that's the ball. <laughs> this fish is good. Man, any, I mean, all flatfish are pretty much all good, right? I can't think of any flatfish that don't taste good. But now, even with, check this out. All right, I'll show you guys what I got. All right. Mm -hmm. There is the white. There you see the white meat. And got the avocado on there. Fresno chili. Nice flaky white meat. Crispy fins. Heck yeah. Cheers, guys. Mm. 
this is such a, a very delicate fish. It's very tender, like so soft. Mm. Juicy too. Let's see, let's see if I can show you the, the juiciness of it. Is it focused? Check it out, watch this. I'm gonna just squeeze the juice out, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's getting all over my hands. Yeah, you see how nice and juicy that is? Oh, wow. I got the tail. That's the tail portion right there. It's literally like a chip. Mmm. Sand sole. Mm, delicious. The flavors, so good. You got the, the fried fish, it's very, it's oily, right? So that oiliness, richness, you wanna balance that off with the acidity, and that's what I did here. And the kick from the Serrano's, ooh, whew, nice. Very nice. Do you wanna try some? Good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I could just eat spoons full of squat. <laughs> I need some more. <clears throat> the fins, man. The fins are the bomb. And that's why I wanted to fry it instead of steaming it. If you steam it, you can't eat the fins. But if you fry it, whew, it turns into chips. We have some eggs in there. Usually on these flatfish, the eggs are like in the back of the of the guts and um, this is it right here this might be the male I'm gonna eat it no comment <laughs> those aren't eggs I'll just tell you that <laughs> it's not bad. It's just kind of mushy. I just ate that whole entire fish by myself because Jocelyn's not hungry. <laughs> As you may have realized that we have moved. So we have a backyard now and got some plants. Jocelyn's already been busy with her plants, you know. All right, guys. So here's our new place. Uh, yeah, we, we got a place. Look at the celery's coming. Nice. These are the baby plants. Got a little celery coming. <laughs> That's tiny. <laughs> I know, they're all babies. There's a mixture right now of potted plants and in the ground plants, and that's just because um, the potted ones already had fruit growing on them, and I don't want to disturb their roots while they're already fruiting. We got Roma tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, tomatillos, uh, more Romas and the heirloom tomatoes. So we've been using a lot of her vegetables to make some dishes and stuff. She's been growing a lot of tomatoes and tomatillos, so she's making salsa with them and everything like that, which is amazing from the garden, you know, and I incorporate it into the catching cooks as well. Um, I think I did that last time with the salmon. And we haven't bought tomatoes in like two months, maybe. Yeah, we haven't bought tomatoes in like two months. So that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, yeah, just a little, I wanted to give you guys a little quick uh, update on our situation. We're at our own place now, first time living without roommates. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, uh, man. And, uh, yeah, we're at a good place right now. So, thank you guys always for the support. I just wanted to give you a little update. Uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.